New York, as enchanting and imaginative as a dream, as romantic as moonlight on the ocean, as beautiful as fine sculpture, as ugly as its poverty-ridden slum, as warm and tender as a mother's love, as cold and impersonal as a prisoner's number. This is magnetic Manhattan, drawing to its shores thousands from east and west, north and south, far and near. Some old, some young, some happy, some sad, some hopeful, some disillusioned, but all seeking a way of life. This is the story of souls lost in sin, caught in the panorama of this chaotic magnet is one William Burton, alias Dollar Bill. Hey, Robert. Robert. Wake up there. Hey. Go on and sleep. Money at Tropical Park, first away at 115 and a half, the winner post four, barmaid, 1120, 530, 440, second post 12, checkmate, 680, 460. You always find me by that door, knocking on that door up there, the door across the hall by the steps. Yes, sir. All right, and this is the room, and there's your bed. Do you think you like it? Yes, sir. It's, it's right nice down here. Yeah, well, we ain't had no complaints lately. Of course, we ain't had no famous people like you, and you might be a bit particular. No, ma'am. I, I reckon I'll stick. Well, I reckon that'll be three fifty. What is this? Mr. Lee. Mr. Isaiah Lee from Alabama, who will pay his rent. Brother Isaiah will be living here by himself. I'm quite glad to make your acquaintance. I'm right fond of company. Uh, if you but knew it, you are moving into some real fast company. Why, that's Mr. Dollar Bill, who right now is not uh, entered by his real name. He's a promoter. He's just closing a big deal, ain't you, Bill? And that's still laying there is a no writing writer you ever meet in New York. So you see, Georgia, you have some real celebrities to live with. Well, I ain't from Georgia. I'm from Alabama. Well, all right, Alabama. Then make yourself to home. And through that door there, you'll find a right smart toilet and washroom in case you might want to tidy up a bit. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, thanks an awful lot. I'd like to Kind of wash my feet. Well, yes, you do that. I'm sure Mr. Bill would appreciate it. The apostles always wash their feet after a long journey. Sure helps a man to. Oh, I'm sorry, man. It, it sure helps a man to wash his feet when he's tired. This is George Washington Lee from Alabama. This is a real drag. Maybe I should have asked him for his record. The next time I'll ask you for your personal okay. You're pushing me around, Happy, and I don't like it. I'm like you. I like a winner. So? I'm laying all my bets on a number one winner. He won't last long. He'll go fast. A real person. Leading with his chin. You're wrong. He's looking for a job. A working square. Scared, maybe. But still in there with his boots up. He's still a turkey leading with his chin. All right. But he's not a has-been. And why don't you get wise yourself and find a job? You don't tell me how to live. 
and you don't tell me who to rent to. I'd like to stick this whole crummy joint down your throat. And why don't you try? Bubbling B, 3840, 1965-20. Second post 12, kiss me, 480, 260. Third post 6, Auto Boy returns 490 to show. Buddy Bregan was up on the winner. That last minute scratch in the first was Katie May. Post time for the second at Tropical is 145. That Buddy Bregan is some jockey to watch. His last four. Oh, boy. Boy, my feet sure feel better. You got nice hot water. Huh? Hot water is nice. Yeah, hot water is nice. Is he sick? No, dead. Dead? Yeah, dead. You like to joke, don't you? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rough. That's his, and I don't like nobody to touch it, see? Oh, I'm awful sorry. I, I didn't mean no harm. Oh, it's okay. Can we forget it? Sure. That's his life. You break that and you'll break his heart. Sure. Is he a great writer? Sure, great. Only the squares in this town don't dig his stuff. What do you mean by squares, Mr. Bill? Oh, it's okay, you'll learn. How's about that boss there? Can you play it? Oh, yes, sir. I used to play for parties down in Muckrow County. Yeah? What'd you play? Oh, nothing special. I sort of made it up as it went along. Mm -hmm. I gotta know. Huh? Go on, play something. Oh, could not wake him up. Good something should wake him up. Play one of those songs you made up in Alabama. Okay, you, you say it's all right, Mr. Bill. Sure, it's all right. And don't call me Mr. Bill. Just call me Bill. Yes, sir. Well, I woke up this morning. Oh, 
golden baby Lonesome as a man can be And if you don't come back to daddy He'll drown his money in the sea Not bad, Alabama, not bad. Who is your friend? Ours, you mean. We inherited him. He just dropped in for, from Alabama to give us a concert. Decided that he likes the quarter so well, he's going to stay. Alabama, shake hands with Mr. Roberts. He might put you in his next book. I'm right glad to meet you, sir. Uh, I hope you ain't mad about the noise. Mr. Billy had told me I could play. It's all right, son. What did you say your name was? Isaiah. Isaiah Washington Reed. Okay, Isaiah. Yeah. Incidentally, Happy stopped in while you were sleeping. Says she's sick of your sleeping blues. They're getting her down. And if you don't like the new rumor, you can move. You I paid know. up in advance. I know. I know. I hope you don't mind me, Mr. Roberts. It's all right, son. We are just one happy family here. What did Katie May do? Katie May. Scratch and top flight run out of the money. Hey, y'all know Katie May? Oh, yes, yes, sure. She's an old friend of ours. Well, I heard she was up here. She's from down home, you know. Well, now, you don't say. Sure. Her mama used to teach me in Sunday school. See there, Robert? I told you Katie May was good for something. Y'all you know where she is? I want to see her. Well, when you find her, let Mr. Bill know. I'm sure he wants to see her. My feet, they're clean. Oh, cut out the shadow, Alabama. Come on, play us a number. I'd be right glad to oblige. You, uh, you like my playing, Mr. Bill? Oh, I like it. Alabama, I think you got something. And now you're a music critic. Shut up, Bob. Go on and play, Alabama. Well, I went down to it. Didn't want to do it. Baby, forced her to do it. If she didn't want to do it, why didn't she do it then? Yes, I got her number and it don't add up to one. Yes, I got her number and it don't add up to one. She just don't love me. She just loves having All right, you stumble bum. Cut out this racket. Why do you play with that crumb? I could choke her. Hold tight, Bill. Hang on to your sense of humor. Hang on. Well, I guess I'll go and get me something to eat. Would you like to go with me, Mr. Bill? I'm going to look for a job. How about you, Mr. Roberts? No, thanks, Ike. I got some writing to do. I'll be back as soon as I find a job. Come back anyway. Say, yeah, Bill. I got a new idea for a story. Boy, it's a honey. A young fella started off with a push cart. Fifteen years later, he was traveling around the world in his own yacht. He married his... Shut up! Shut up, you fool. Shut up! You sit there babbling like an imbecile. Talking about a story that nobody's gonna buy. While the whole world spits in your face. You dumb turkey. Go ahead. 
Back away on that stinking typewriter till you rot. Sit here and take the insult from that broken down crumb upstairs. Go ahead. Sit here in this jungle like an animal while the whole world steps on you. Well, nobody steps on Dollar Bill. Take it easy, Bill. There's nobody stepping on you. No more they ain't. Hold on, Bill. Your luck's bad now, but it'll change. You bet it'll change. Because I'm going to change it. I'm going to get on top. Yeah. Check that light out there on top of the bank. See that light? High on top, sitting out with the flash. That's me. I belong on top. Up there looking down, not down here looking up. When you're up there, you don't get stepped on. I don't think anybody's stepping on you, Bill. Who asked? Where are you going? To get that yacht. What do you think? How much, Barkeep? Three sixty, Mr. George. Keep the change. Thank you, Mr. George. Some looker, eh, boy? Ain't that the guy that works at the two spot? Yeah, man, that's Regina, the one and only. Can you imagine? Some guys get all the love. Forget it, Mac. He's a B-29 gal and built like a Fleetwood. He ain't on your time. Who's that stud with us? You don't know him? No. Man, that's Big Bear George from Chicago. And I do mean bad. See, what did I tell you? Big time. Big George is known for his five kids. Dancing in there. Dancing, man. Oh. Well, now, ain't this a treat? What you know, Dollar Bell? Don't tell me you spoke. <laughs> hey, boy, look who's here. Dollar Bill. And he's gonna buy a beer. <laughs> Now give me a drink, and the next time remember, I'll tell you what I'm drinking. I'm sorry, doll. The boss says I gotta collect first. Give me a drink. All right, doll. All right. Leave the bottle. Hey, Dollar, you forgot to pay me. Yeah. Dollar twenty is his bill. Thanks.
When he's happy, he wants everybody to be happy. My mother was very sick. And one day, when Bill gave all us kids a dollar, I took mine and bought flowers for Mother. I'll always remember it. It was the last time I saw him smile. Poor kid. I'm sorry. He was so happy. He said I was a good girl. You are? You must have had a fine mother. Ma worked hard. She did the best she could. It was only us two. What happened to your father? Well, I don't remember him. He and my mother didn't stay together. Who do you live with now? With Mrs. Anderson. She was a friend of mother's. Does she take care of you? Oh, she tries. But I get around. I know how to take care of myself. Do you think it's wise to fall for Bill? He's pretty fast company, you know. Just like sticking your hand in a bag of loose needles. Depends on the point of view. Oh, I don't mean Bill is not a fine fellow. Down underneath, they don't come any better. I know. Right now, he's a little bitter, mad at the world. But he's swell. You really like him, though. Oh, I don't know. I suppose so. What do you do? Oh, I call myself a writer. You see that machine over there? I write. But no one seems to like it but Bill. He thinks I'm wonderful. Are you? Well, they don't like much stuff. You written many stories? Oh, you see that box over there is full of them. And a rejection slip with each one. Oh, I'd like to read some of your stories sometime. You're welcome. Any time you come. Thanks. Well, that was a nice breakfast. I'll tell the boys they don't know what they missed. Oh, just cover this over and save it for them. What time is it? Oh, the clock over the bank says 10.30. Well, I'd better hurry, or I'll be late to work. Where do you work? 23rd Street, the garment sector. I do piece work, operate on dresses. Do you like it? Oh, it's all right. I make a good dollar. Oh, I'm sorry, but I must go now. Well, I'll tell Bill you were here. Come back tonight, won't you? If you will take care of your little pupil. Goodbye. Hi, bad boy. You get me that rod? And the jewelry. Got it? Yeah. Got the stuff? Here's the stuff. And if you move it fast, that's more where it comes from. I'll get it moved fast. Don't worry. Thanks. So long. So long, boy. See ya. Okay, bad boy. Oh, Grandma, what news? Why should I should ask you, Harry. You get around to that. Ah, uh, you know all the pretty people. Who's your friend? Oh, Regina, I want you to meet Dollar Bill, a great guy. Hello, Bill. How are you? Swell. Are you as fine as you look? No, I see. Well, that you have to find out. Hey, Pat, give the ladies a drink. Mm-hmm. Regina's bad boy George's heartbeat. Do you know him? Yes. But he never told me about you. Where does he hide you? The club suit spot. She works there. Well, real glad. You're not bad yourself. Where did one find you? You don't have to hang me on a line, baby. I'll buy the scotch anyway. No line. You're my type, champ. Did you say champ? A chump. Oh, pardon me just a moment. Excuse me, darling. I want to run part of my room. Yes. You're, you're lucky, you know. Nice as like I had in look. Perfect. Not a flaw. Let's see. Get a load of that. How much? Two C's. Two C's. That's right. That's a lot of gold. That's a lot of rock. I haven't got that much. Yeah, How much you got? C650. 175, huh? Okay, the rock's a little hot. I want to unload it. I'll take it. Okay. And I tell her about working here all night and about the bumps I got to serve. You know what she says? People don't bug you. You bug yourself. Oh, have another drink. Hey, let me send two of them.
times I tell you I don't allow no dancing in here. Man, I don't care what you don't allow. I don't put my nickel on that piccolo, so I'm gonna dance anyhow. Says who? Says me. Now, be nice to yourself, because you'll make me mad, and once you see, I'll be over there on you. Yeah, four, five, six, and you'll be off me, too. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Says who? <laughs> Come on over. Come on. I'll be ever ready. I'll just let you have it. Oh, who wants to dance anyway, man? Well, this is a bar, not a dance hall. Tell us the cool breeze. Maybe he don't know. I'm telling you. Take it out of here. Go ahead, you bald head turkey. Del, where you been, Bill? Hugging the world, baby. Hugging the world. Bob made me stay in for you, Kate. He wanted me to be here when I told you the good news. Don't hold me. What news? Yes, yes. Oh, don't tell me, Alabama, I know. You're the biggest square that ever left the cotton fields of Alabama. Yeah, you've been drinking. Now, how do you know? I met Josh White today, and he's going to give me lessons. Well, can you imagine that? He met Josh White today. Well, I met Regina today. And she's going to give me lessons. Scare in your face. Buy yourself a new dress. Like Regina. Regina's got a new dress. Regina's got class. Regina's got everything. I'd better go now, Bob. That's all right. I'll talk with him. Shut up. You talk to me. Who are you to talk to me? Sick of it. I'm sick of all your yapping. I'm sick of this whole crummy joint. I'm getting out. I'm going to move up where people's got class. Yeah, class. That's what I need. That's me. Class. I gotta breathe. Class. On your way down, stop in the jungle. Your friends will still be here. Here's five C's. You all shared the drop last night. Got your gun on you? No, you know what happened on yeah. that. Yeah. Well, take this rod for tonight, just in case. Got it. Now, you want to dig me the night's layout again so there won't be any slip-up. Okay, now get this. You keep the motor of the car running by the warehouse curb. We'll load the furs. When I slam your car door, wheel away, but fast. Get the stuff to our regular stash. The boys there will unload. And don't be careless. This is a hundred grand haul. Depend on Papa, bad boy. I'll deliver. <laughs> Broadway needs me, but Harlem got me. Harlem ain't got you. I got you. I ain't got you with these. I ain't got you with those. I got you with my little bit of gold. Uh, when you're feeling low and you don't know what to do. When you're feeling low and you don't know what to do. Just stay in the groove, let nothing bother you. I may be small, but baby, have no fear. I may be small, but baby, have no fear. 
just came along and made my life a song. That keeps ringing, keeps me singing of the things you do to me. When you are near, I find that clue must disappear. You bring me happiness. Along with your caress, how a man never say by the things you do to me. Yes, I've had my sorrow, but now from you I borrow. That will make my life complete. Please don't abuse them. I couldn't lose them. Such precious gifts from you, my sweet. So now I know. That tells me you alone must have my heart grown. I surrender to the tender little thing. Hello, Bill. How are you? Gee, Mr. Bill. It's good to see you. Gee, gee, you sure looking fine. Thanks, Alabama. Hello, Angel Face. How you doing? The boys think you all right? Oh, I'm all right, Bill. How have you been? Oh, never better. Oh, excuse me, honey. Uh, meet Etta. Etta, meet Regina. How are you, my dear? How do you do? And this is my pal, Bob, the writer. What's great? So you're Bob. I've been anxious to meet you. Bill talks about you all the time. He thinks you're tough. Oh, you mustn't listen to Bill. He's partial. Never mind jiving, Bob. Meet Alabama there. Alabama, this is Regina. She's come down to hear you play. I'm right glad to meet you, ma'am. Hello, Alabama. Bill tells me you're good. Yes, sir. Am I? Uh, uh, thanks. Uh, oh, man, you're all them things. Get your box down and tune it up. Oh, don't let me break up your trick again. Who's winning? Bob. He's got a tricky system. Always gets to the king's row first. Mm. Isn't that the general idea? You speaking about checkers? Of course, dear. I play the game, too. And I bet you know every move. I usually win. Uh, say, Alabama, play that new number of yours for Bill. Yeah, let's see if you feel good. Mr. Scott White taught me a new number. Well, let's hear it. Well, I don't know it's so good, but uh, you want me to play one of your oldies? Oh, sure. Play my old favorite. <laughs> Mr. 
Well, I went down the road to see my gal. Caught her loving up my bed pal. Said she didn't want to do it. Said she didn't want to do it. If she didn't want to do it, why did she do it then? Yes, I got her number and it don't add up to one. Yes, I got her number and it don't add up to one. She just don't love me, she just loves having fun. You fool me, baby, you won't see me no more. You fool me, baby, and you won't see me no more. Cause what I saw last night drove me away from your door. You're no good, baby, you're no good to me. You're no good, baby, you're no good to me. You're no good, baby, so stay away from me. You're real gone, Alabama. Where's the mother? You really are good, Alabama. I wish I had time for more. Oh, yeah, that's right. You've got to get to the club, haven't you? Did Alabama come, too? You can play a number for the customers. Mm. Sure, great. Get into your coat, Alabama. You're going places. It's been swell meeting you. Won't you come, too? Some other time. We'll let Alabama represent us. Goodbye, dear. Too bad you can't come. That's all right. I've already heard you say that. Come on, darling. I'll be late. How come dead, Alabama? Good luck, Alabama. So long, Andy Faith. So long, Bob. <laughs> Hello, Angel Faith. Where are the boys? Oh, Alabama went to rehearsal. And Bob asked me to wait here while he went downtown. Oh, I see. Well, now, in, case, in that case, take this money and give it to Bob. Tell him this for his and Alabama's rent. I'll put it here on the table. Aren't you going to wait? No, I've got to get to the set. We don't see much of you anymore. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? I've got a sneaking suspicion Regina's standing you up. <laughs> and I've got a sneaking suspicion you're right. Don't let that get you downtown. You don't ring no bells in my heart. I'm always around, you know. Yeah. You know, you're smoking my eyes, baby. Now, is that nice? Hey. <laughs> this ring you stole me is a fake. The jewel affair is worthless. Oh, you're crazy. Look, I want my money back. Get out of my face. Don't you see me talking to ladies? Look, you give me my money? Yeah. Get out of here. And I told you before to keep those crumbs away from me when I'm with ladies. I didn't know he was going to bother That's you. That's all right. Give us all a drink here. I'll have a beer. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, no, the sport's on me. Believe it or not, fellas, this is going to make his fish. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, Ted, give everybody a drink. Let's have some champagne. How about a 
about some champagne, old man? Coming right up. How many bottles? How many bottles? Serve everybody. We'll count the bottles later. We're going to have a real celebration. Don't drink that beer, please. Champagne. And you? Can you imagine that? I pass up two numbers on a piccolo to sport him a beer, and he walks out and leaves it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, what are you trying to do? Break up the juice box? Yeah. Well, I'll give you your money back. Well, hand it here. <laughs> Keep the dime, man. Don't get mad at Cool Breeze, honey, when you can drink champagne in his arms. Yes, how about that wine? Yeah, that's cool enough. I'm saying, who is it? Uh -huh. Hey, Bill, watch it! Stop it! Are you sorry, Bill? Hey, half time, run to the doctor. Signed contract. You in? Won't Bill be happy when he hears this? Start at the beginning, Alabama, and tell us just what the man said. Well, he said at first that the man who who paid for the program or, or something, a show, something like that. He said that that man thinks I'm good. He likes my plan, and he's gonna give me two hundred dollars a week for sixteen weeks. And then he said I get more. Boy, thirty-two hundred dollars for sixteen weeks. Alabama, you are a celebrity. Well, that's all he said. When's your first program? Well, he said I start from a week, a uh, week from the day, I think. Let's drink to Alabama's success. our television audience, our newest talent discovery, Alabama Ike and his guitar. Don't come back to daddy. 
the street. If you've got my card, call me at your convenience. Thanks. I'll come to see you, Mr. Blake. Thank you very much, Mr. Roberts. Goodbye, all. Thank you. And I'll show you out. Jungle. Oh, Bob. I'm so happy to hear about your success. Isn't it wonderful? Well, Letta, looks like I'll be needing a secretary. I think you'll make Ike a good manager. How about it, Ike? Well, uh, I, I'd appreciate it very much, Miss Etta, if, 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 if you want to do it. Oh, I don't know how to thank you, boys. I only wish there were four of us to share all of this success. That's life, Etta. For every ending, there's a